Friday, St. David's South Austin Medical Center debuted a new germ zapping robot. But despite this new technology, it does not completely eliminate the risk of picking up an infection at the hospital. As KXAN's David Scott shows us, despite progress fighting so called superbugs, they remain a health risk for patients. It's an insurance policy on their room. We know that rooms can harbor pathogens, we know that surfaces everywhere can. <laughs> The Xenax robot bathes a room in UVC rays and within minutes kills every germ. Hospitals trying it report a 50 to 70 percent reduction in infections. The normal hand scrubbing still leads to 1.7 million Americans picking up infections every year. So doctors say this may help. It is pretty much stable. Uh, that has been the case for a number of years now. Medical malpractice attorneys see thousands of people who want to take action against what they perceive to be a hospital-acquired infection, but they'll tell you very few ever make it to court. Jay Winkler has been a malpractice attorney for 34 years and seen only a handful of such cases prove a winner. In part, he says, because of a decades-old Texas law that allows hospitals to investigate themselves and keep the findings secret. Well, we have to prove negligence and the barrier to finding out what really happened is the peer review privilege. So the proof that w might be available for us right. is hidden behind a veil of secrecy. So your chances in court may remain slim, but in preventing infections, hospitals could start seeing the light. David Scott, KXAN News. The Xenex robot cost about $100,000. St. David's bought three of them. Hospitals say treating an infected patient can cost an average of fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. So they believe the robot will pay for itself very quickly.